Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show a simple way how you can use HoneyBook. So let's start. HoneyBook is a really great tool that you can use for your business. And first you can add a profile picture right here when you're going to enter HoneyBook. And I'm going to add like, I don't know. Okay, click save. Continue. Then you can brand elements and add a logo if you want to. Then add the services looking good. What type of service do you offer? We like coaching and test the invoice. Now, when you view the invoice, you see how it looks like. But let's just go back and let's go straight what you can do in HoneyBook. First, you're going to see home button. And then you're going to see projects on the right top. Here you have, okay, you can create a new project. And now we just add a project name here and let's go. This is our YouTube channel. Project type, if it's corporate design, even family party, I can go with the corporate, but you can also create a new project type here. Then you're going to have a lead source. And if it's a client referral, Google, Facebook, Instagram, you gain, or you can add a new lead source if you want to. Let's go zoom in. Then you add a date here and let's go with a like this and 12 create a project. You can also end the add date. Create a project. Okay, so add a participant in our hardware to share files and been collaborating. You can add an email address, full name and just add someone. I'm going to skip it right now, but you can do it. Okay, so we see it here. YouTube channel. This is our project. Then we're going to see straight away the details here. Like, okay, we got a project name, corporate type, the lo location about the project. You can add a note. You can click on activity. Like what was actually happening here. Then you're going to see files. You can add a new file. You can add a payment, like create an invoice. We will get to it and details. Now on the right side, only visible to you, you have stage inquire, inquiry. Follow up, meeting, proposal sent, proposal signed, lead source. Let's go with Google. Then you can add also time tracker here. Click plus. And you can log in you. So what was happening? What kind of time tracking activity it was? And you can add number of hours. So let's go brainstorming. Number of hours 10. All right. 15. Right. And date completed first February 7th entry. So voila, here we got a time tracker. You can also log a new. Then you have tasks, what needs to be done here. And you can add a new task, YouTube video. And you can also add a due date. And then you get automations here. But you need to have participants to send them something, etc. Then you're going to see also more options to have related workspaces with this project. Now, as you can see, so, okay, we got a stage, we got a lead source, you can add notes. We see the time tracking tasks and automations. What you can do now is just payments and let's create an invoice, right? And now you have options to create a recurring payment invoice, scheduled payment invoice, standard document, we'll go blank invoice. And now you can see that, okay, build to. You can simply add a client here, but we are going to also create a client by ourselves. So build to client, email address. So full name can be like this. Company type, company name, company website URL, click add. And voila, so we can add a client and add it. Then you got to add new item. So we will going to create the items here, but let's go with the coaching. We can go price with 50 unit item or our quantity five, $250, right? And if it's like going to be scheduled payment or recurring payment, you can charge your client repeated fixed amount for a set period. And now you got it and you can add recipient. 
you need to also add like schedule payment amount when or you can make it recurring every february or payment schedule right really up to you how you choose that and you can add recipient click add hi mark i would like to share an invoice with you i want to open the invoice you will be able to review the invoice make a payment online and you can send it right so this is how you can do it you can go also to settings choose the template view how they will see it and now we got it so this is what we will see and you can send the text so this is how you can actually create invoice in honeybook now let's go to contacts and you can see it here that we have the content that i created and I can create a new project on that contact or I can simply add a new contact. And the same thing, same process as in the beginning with the added email address, file name, phone, mailing address. And then he has like this really good thing tools here. So essentials, templates. Okay. That you can add like template for your invoice. So create a new invoice. And you can see how it's going to look like. And you can use it. Then you see for the contracts. And you can really see and create every single template. And customize it so it's more effective. Then with libraries. You can upload the images. Automations. You can also create a task. Send an email. Send questionnaire. Calendar. Like what, what is happening? I can see it here that uh, in a Wednesday I got it for YouTube channel. And now we got it for productivity. So we got scheduling here. For session. And then you got also tasks. What needs to be done. You got time tracker. That I can log a new time. Or I can create invoice. Uh, to the chosen project if you create it right here with time tracker and then you get like finance with reports that you can see actually what was happening and what needs to be done payments for expenses profit that lost you can also connect it to quickbooks so yeah and then you get also leaf capture here with the chrome extension contact form and what you can do is to simply create a contact form and just add it and publish it. Right? And edit it as much as you want. Like full name, email, move it. It's really great. And this is pretty much it. I mean, Honeybook is not like really hard program to understand. Like after this video, I believe that you will know exactly what to do. And it's like really up to how you point it out and play around it. But this is pretty much it, how you use Honeybook. So thank you very much, everybody, for watching. If you have any questions, guys, ask me down in the comments. And have a great day and goodbye. See ya.